I feel that the day I abandon music for something else, I'm going to die. Because, I mean, you know, yeah, I've studied engineering, yes, you know, I've read philosophy probably to the highest level, you know, of those studies. But then, there is something that I did not learn. It's something I was born with. And that's music. So take away music from me, you've taken away my life. So, uh, the reason I cannot expire is that my spiritual relationship has connected me to the source. The source of life. He is eternal. And that is God. Through my Lord Jesus Christ. As long as they never grow old, I can never grow old. That is, my spirit man is renewed every day. That's why I refer to myself as boy of God, you know, and, and not man of God. Uh, because, you know, the cliche man of God makes you to want to flex. You know, um, uh, you, you haven't paid me any compliments, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, uh, is this how to greet a man of God? No, 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 no. I'm not into that business. Mine is. I want to be recognized for the influence that I have on people. What impact have I made in your life? Have I been able to give you something, whether it is physical, whether it's financial or educational, you know, maybe it's, it's uh, emotional. There must be something that comes out of a man into another person. That is what keeps you going. Secret number two, as one who has been in music for this long, a lot of people think I only play music, you know, to the high and mighty in churches that are, you know, 10,000. What they don't realize is that up till today I still go to secondary schools and I still go to university campuses to minister. Here is the secret. When I was younger, I was going to secondary schools and universities. I didn't realize that these same young people that I was ministering to were going to grow up. It never occurred to me until one day one of them met me and said, Sir, you ministered to us when, I, when we were in, in, in secondary school. Now here we are. Uh, sir, we want to be a support to your ministry and I'm like, Excuse me, what do you mean? Say, sir, God has blessed us now. Your music has made us to stand. Your music has been an encouragement to us. In times of difficulties, we listen to cheer up mm -hmm. and we are so lifted. You know, now that we, there are difficulties, political difficulties, persecution against the <laughs> bring down the glory too. It, it, it gives us confidence that God knew about these things. Mm -hmm. And so, sir, we want to bless you financially. And I'm like, I mean, you were very little, but they've grown. So the people that I blessed when they were children have now become my parents. They are the ones now supporting me. Now, isn't that amazing? So do you think that such a person will expire? Because I'm still going back again to young people. To minister there are some people that feel oh well mm, yeah I'm 40 okay I'm now you know 50 okay I'm now 60 and heading for 70 so I should be ministering to you know my age group if I'm only ministering to people between 60 and 70 uh, then I will expire fast yes, sir. because they don't discuss anything they, they're just preparing to exit. Mm. But when, you, when you're ministering to young people, I mean, there's, there's a new exuberance. Mm. There's a new energy that, that you always get. I love being amongst youth. I, I love talking to young people. It helps me to listen to them. Mm. And it helps me to also pass down my experiences to them and to tell them that, well, um, I have learned this from you and uh, uh, now this is the way I'm using what I learned from you, you know. Uh, so, 
uh, some 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 other persons may tell you you know the secret of their longevity you know in service is this and is that for me it's as simple as this I never forget the days of little beginning the Lord said to me that the 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 uh, interpretation of that passage is whatever you were doing when you were a nobody which made you a somebody don't stop doing it Wow. so if you were always ministering to children now that you've become somebody don't stop if you were a praying person now that you've become successful in life and business don't stop praying if you've been an evangelist and it has brought you into prominence don't stop it so whatever you were doing when you were nobody now that you've become a somebody don't stop it the Lord said to me that that is equivalent to plucking off your root you know people don't like the root people prefer the fruit to the root because you can sell the fruit you can eat the fruit the fruit is fantastic even Eve saw the fruit that it was good you know uh, for food and the one that will make someone wise and so she went for the fruit what the Lord taught me is never look at the fruit always concentrate on the root so keep deep keep digging deep as long as your root is firmly in the ground firmly in Christ your fruit will be eternal but if you leave the root and you focus on the fruit you're already dead it's just a matter of time and you will fizzle out so a lot of people become successful they become successful boom first album and whoa you, you suddenly fame has come in and people begin to misbehave mm. friends you used to talk with before you know, now you know they become subordinate to you you know and they even see you and greet you hey how are you and you're like excuse me mm. you know uh, I once I had an encounter with a mate of mine from the university and uh, uh, it's a sad story but praise God you know uh, well, of course while in the university everybody was you know hey hey you know I mean, you know we greeted everybody first name basis and all that so several years after graduation I think nine, 18 19 years that we had not met and he had become a pastor he had become a bishop and asked me to come over to his church and minister and when i got there i was feeling so excited and i told you know my staff about this person how close we used to be when i saw him on this beautiful day i lifted my hands to give him a high five and i thought it was business as usual and he took his hand back and lifted his hand his left hand to tap me on the back and I you know struggled off my shoulders and he said this he turned to his to his people and said to them you guys before Panam lives here you must teach him how to address me and I was so embarrassed I was like, you mean, because you're now a bishop, <laughs> you can't even shake my hand. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh, fortunately for me, the late Archbishop Benson Idahusa was the next guest minister. And when he came there, Panam Panam was in his mouth. I was given almost back row behind all the bishops to sit down because I wasn't qualified. I didn't carry any titles. I didn't have any title, reverend, doctor. I, I don't go by titles. I go by function. I, I don't believe in carrying titles. What is your name? My name is Dr. Uh -uh. My name is Panam, who is PhD. 
Paul said to Timothy, do the work of an evangelist. Don't carry the title. So, you know, we should be known for what we do, not for the titles we carry, you know. So, uh, I will never expire. I'll say it again. Even when I die, it's not because I've expired. It is because it is time to go. But as for expiration, I will never expire. I will always be useful. I'll always be needed because what God has given to me is a necessary commodity. And that's why I give it out freely. I give it out freely. Yeah. So, secret of success, just be yourself. Don't ever plan or attempt to be somebody else. Hold on to your vision. Never let your success get to your head. Because once it gets there, you're already on your way down. And the people you related with as friends, when you are rising up, keep them. The best way to be influential is make sure that none of those friends remains under. As you are rising, raise them up. As you are rising, raise them up. These are the people that will defend you anytime you, you, you are in need of defense. But when you're being lifted up and then your, your mates are now you know, your subordinates, they're now beneath you and, you know, the day you will need them, they will be the accuser of the brethren, <laughs> you know. So, uh, I, I would actually encourage people, you know, especially young folks, that uh, success, you will succeed. I mean, it's not, it's not a... It's not, a, it's not a big deal. Just lay your hands on a particular project. Fi fix your mind on, uh, on something, you know, uh, uh, on an entrepreneurship. Fix your mind on a business. You know, invest your time into some money-making thing. You will prosper. You know, so making money is not prosperity. <coughs> A good name is a better currency than silver and gold. So my drive is just to maintain this name and it comes by humility. It comes by humility. I was asking the Lord what is humility and he said to me, making yourself available to the people that cannot afford you. Man, I was like, okay. I thought it is those people that should come to me to ask my assistance. He said, no. He said, if you are really humble, go down to their level. Mm -hmm. Those who can't afford you are the people that need you. Mm. We couldn't afford Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. That he came for us. How many of us could have been able to pay for salvation? <laughs> so he came. And if we are truly his children, then we should go to those that are beneath us because those are the ones that will receive us. The Lord was only accepted by, by the poor and the needy. It's because the rich had forgotten them. And here is the rich son of God that descended and mingled with the poor and turned their lives around. He turned their lives around. He turned my life around. So my focus is not on money, my focus is not on, um, you know, some big cars, uh, big houses, fame, no. My focus is on my vision and making myself available to the person that cannot afford me. Wow. Excellent. So that's my secret, sir. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. That's my secret, ma'am. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's my secret for longevity. If you follow this, you will remain, you will remain in demand. You will be sought for. Several years down the line, I am still being, being, being asked to come and 
minister even in music and now the teaching has been added to it so I'm being called left right and center come and do this come and do this I mean after 46 years you're still in demand I mean that's is, a, is an awesome thing so that's my secret and I just want to say to you learn from me as I've learned from the Lord and make yourself useful there are there are people around you that you can actually lift up don't just imagine that someone is 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 on the ground now once you see someone on the ground it's your responsibility to lift them up so lift them up I love you and God bless you